Hey guys, so today we are looking at um, a fairly um, new-ish thing. It's, it's called the Content Aware Scaling. Um, basically, if ever you've seen these kinds of GIFs, if I can't bring up an example here, um, or videos uh, that involve um, basically uh, what looks what looks like um, a person's face getting warped out of a proportion. What that's doing is taking advantage of what's called content aware scaling that both uh, Photoshop and After Effects has. And we'll talk about After Effects later on, but in this case we'll, we'll look at Photoshop since we've had a little bit of experience with that. Um, essentially what you want to do is you want to find a clip from YouTube, you know, uh, download it and then pop it into Premiere and find like maybe a 10, 15 second long clip that you can um, uh, that you, you can sort of isolate here and go ahead and just uh, export that. So I'm just going to control M, export this and I'm going to fit it down as, as low as I can. And I'll do, I'll do uh, medium bit rate here and I'll just uh, export it. And uh, when you have that exported, you want to make sure you know where it's at. Um, go ahead and open up Photoshop and then what you'll do is you'll go to File and you'll click on Import and you'll just find Video Frames to Layers. And with that, you'll find uh, your um, clip here and you'll open that and it'll give you this little, you know, video import to layers, you know, range and you press OK and it might say like this and that's fine so long as it doesn't cut it off it should be fine and press continue and allow that to sort of populate and um, here it is. It's basically going to turn every little frame of that and think, think to yourself like um, if I were to go over here to Premiere and I would look at my, um, my footage that I've got here. Uh, let's look at our properties. You can find that it's this, in this case it's 24 frames a second, and it's uh, and it's you know in this case I've got a 14 second long clip, so <clears throat> that's essentially um, 14 times you know 24, which will give you x number of frames. I think the limit is 500 frames, so just think think a little math to yourself depending on the frame rate of, of whatever it is you get. I think I think when you download off of YT MP3, it's going to be 24 frames a second. Anyways, um, what we do here is we want to find that script that you downloaded from the D2L Dropbox. Uh, so make sure you know where that's at, and when you go to File, find Scripts and find Browse, and then I'll bring this up. And we'll see the consummated, uh, animated content aware scale, and we'll just press load. And uh, you're given these little parameters here. Now you can have it, for instance, warped by messing around with the height and the width. Uh, but in this case, let's see if we can pull this back up to 100 here. All right. Um, if you wanted to sort of slowly degrade and, and get more and more warped as the as the uh, as the uh, clip goes through, you'll start at 100 or as close as you can to getting it without uh, you know without messing up, and then you'll just uh, warp the the height or the width. In this case, I might pull the height down a little bit, and I might pull the width up a good deal. Right. So I'll pull the height, I'll, I'll pull them down to the just the to the extremes, just to kind of show you what's going on. And as soon as you press run, it's going to um, basically start populating a bunch of actions, but by scaling up or scaling down. Um, the, um, uh, the the image without maintaining its its ratio. So re recall if like you were to resize something, you want to hold down shift to make sure it doesn't get stretched. Basically, it's going to stretch it, but it's using this content aware scale to try to constrain the proportions of, of what's inside while at the same time um, keeping all the information in the picture uh, w without without warping it. So it, it creates these um, you know uh, incidental warps. So here we go. I'll just um, press. Uh, run and this is going to take a second so I'll just cut this out okay so now that that's finished uh, we need to export this as a video so we go to file and we go to export and we look over here find render video and this gives you this little screen here. It doesn't give you as many options as uh, as Premiere does. Uh, it automatically does an MP4, but you can name it. So I'll name it uh, Jurassic Park Content Aware, and I'll choose a different folder. I'll, I'll see if I can't send it to my videos. And uh, just make sure you know where it's going. And I'll just press Select Folder, and I'll press Render. And this won't take too terribly long. Okay, so now that's done. Um, let's uh, take a look and see what we got here. So um, let's take a look. See. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Let's refresh. Here we go. Content aware. All right, so we can kind of see the distortion kind of happening. <laughs> and. Um, 
and then eventually it just goes totally wild and you can't see anything and that's fantastic. Okay, um, so uh, obviously it doesn't have any sound so we should put it back into our Premiere. Now um, what might happen is you might put it in, you might find that it's actually shorter than your uh, video. Now that happens sometimes because of the way that um, Photoshop interprets the frame rate. And um, they have a default frame rate, and so it might be a little bit different from your video. So that's the case. Uh, just find the clip, just isolate the clip. But if you have, if you've already, if you've cut this up into different parts, um, say for instance, I've kind of kind of cut this up. Like you know, maybe I had like different clips that I wanted to string together here. Um, I can select all these. And I can just right click on them and just nest them, just to make them one single sequence. And then when I hover over it, I can get my total. It's uh, 17, 18. So it's a 17, 18. So I'll just right click on this. And I'll uh, go to speed duration. And I'll just make sure this says 17, 18. And I'll press OK. Obviously, you know, this might not be necessary. And uh, let's take a look and see what it looks like here. What kind of control you're attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life will not be contained. Life breaks free, it expands to new territories, and it crashes through barriers painfully, maybe even dangerously, but uh, well, there it is. Okay, so um, that's, the, that's essentially the, the video aspect of it. Now what I want us to do is I want us to go over here to effects, and I want us to look under audio effects. We don't do a whole lot with sound, but let's uh, find three specific effects that we're going to just kind of take a look with. The first one we're going to look at is uh, phaser. <clears throat> Actually, the first one we're going to look at, yeah, well, the first one we're going to look at is phaser. This is dr drag in phaser. And phaser is basically just what it does is it sort of switches between left and right speakers. So if you were to go down here and just uh, sort of take a look at, and say, edit, you could uh, choose from a variety of, um, of sort of default settings. Say, if, for instance, instead of going to like you know, for instance, like this little bubble popper here. We play it. What kind of control you're attempting is? Uh, There's not a whole going on. Let's uh, let's go over here to. Um, how about? Uh, let's try phase eighty. It's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has. Yeah, how about one more time? Let's let's give it a go. Let's go to. Oh, are we actually in the right? I don't think we're in the right. No, we're in the wrong one here. You know, let's let's go over here. Phase I'm in the wrong clip. All right, let's say, uh, once again, find over here. Edit. And we'll choose one of these random ones, like say brain ball. All right, neat. All right, so I'll just, I'll just leave that there. And um, what you can do, I want to say you can actually um, change the mix. You can actually animate the mix by clicking on uh, individual parameters and clicking on uh, mix and maybe put the mix down to, uh, uh, let's say here, um, let me make a little keyframe here. I want to say we change it to zero. If we go on this, I'll just put this down to zero. And so. What kind of control you're attempting is. Uh, it's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life will not. And as you can see, like, it sort of fades in as the as the video gets more and more distorted. Um, so the another one I want to look at is pitch shifter, and pitch shifter is neat because basically just you can you can make it look a little uh, sound a little uh, lower in pitch. I'm not even going to press edit. I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to go to transpose ratio. I'm going to make a keyframe for that. I'm going like, to like, get deeper and deeper. Actually, I might make it get higher and higher in pitch. So. Um, See where we go. What we'll do is we'll just um, click a keyframe here, and we'll raise this up. Say, for instance, two. Me, all right. Let's see what that sounds like. What kind of control you're attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life will not be exposed to the territories and crashes through barriers painfully. Hilarious. All right, so the last thing we'll do is we'll go over here to distort. I'm actually going to make a copy of this um, uh, uh, right here, and I'll just um, I'll, I'll kind of cut this off. To where he says, yeah, there it is, and I'll just uh, kind of cut this off down here, and I'll just, uh, well, maybe I'll cut this one off here, and I'll go to distortion, which is towards the top here. It's in alphabetical order, and uh, I'll just drag this in. And we can just uh, look at the distortion settings here, which uh, have a lot of uh, things. I'll, I'll choose uh, maximum pain, and I'll just have this uh, play here. What kind of control you're attempting is uh, 
It's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing history of evolution has taught us, it's that life will not be contained. Okay, so now that we're uh, kind of looking at that, let's do one last little thing here. We're gonna cut this um, towards the uh, towards the end here, uh, our little uh, our video, and let's uh, let's just do a, a, a last little thing. Let's just grab our um, let's grab our Lumetri color window. Go to window, Lumetri color, and then um, we'll just click on our red curves here, and we'll just drag that straight up to the top there. And so we'll, what we get is this. It's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing history of evolution has taught us that life will not be contained. Life breaks freely, expands through territories, and crashes through barriers. Thankfully, maybe even dangerously, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so let's go ahead and just export this. File export, and um, obviously submit this. Very cool. All right, see you guys in class.